Hello, this is Marcio, and this is an example of how to use Docker. In this case, we're going to go straight to use Docker Compose and also Docker Compose, I mean, and also some other Docker commands for creating the various containers that I'm using. So basically what I have here, the architecture is there is this main web server, okay? If the user is trying to access www dot something, the app one container should respond. If the user is trying to access www two, app two container should respond. Okay, the app one container is a is a specific. It's like one machine. Okay, one computer, one Docker container that expose its web app behavior using port 8880. Similarly, WW2 is just, up to is just another image really almost similar to the first, except that I have different log messages and it's serving its behavior through port 8081. And web server will have to contain Apache 2, that's the actual web web server inside this container, the web. This image is basically an Ubuntu computer with, with Apache 2 with virtual host settings mapping WW to this computer and mapping and mapping WW2 to this computer. Okay, so let's first access uh, let's see how the docker file looks like for the web server okay and this is what you have here it's basically Ubuntu all right and this is exposes itself through port 80 to the host system and the host system is of course the, the this computer where I am and Apache is going to be is going to be executed, and also a mod proxy a module in Apache, which is the component that makes the magic so that virtual hosts can be enabled. Okay, and if you look at www.tehadoshope, you have see a association for www.mysite.com etc ww1 i mean ww going to app one computer if you look at the ww2 virtual host conf file you see that the w2 links to the computer app two that's basically our web server with apache with virtual hosts with the hosts pointing to actual containers, okay? Let's make this uh, image, okay? And I don't even remember the comment because I'm really new here in using Docker. And that's my comment that I typed before. Of course, I did this before, right? And then here I'm building the, the web server image. Okay. Based on the web server image, Docker Compose is going to create the container. So if I, type, if, if I type here sudo docker image ls, now we have web server image, okay, 208 megabytes. And I'm going to enter app1 and I'm going to do similar creating, well, let's, uh, first I want to check the names that I'm using in the docker compose file.
Yeah. So I need to create an image with the name web bap www. All right. So it's Enter what app directory for the first app. That this first app is actually Node.js application. If you're curious about the actual code, it's here. Okay, it's basically a Node.js application that is Express uh, module and Express server and serves uh, when the user hits the the root uh, uh, URL. It's supposed to console log. The, uh, console log nord virtual host from www and then send to the browser hello world for virtual host www 8080 see it is it disbelieves it's sending through 8080 however of course the main web server is going to serve through port 80 that's the whole point of this interaction anyway uh, what we are going to do now is we need to create the image Okay, for this app, this Node.js based application, okay, and now I'm going to enter the other script, which is basically the same, okay, except that the log messages are different, and it's actually serving through port 8081, actually I have a small bug in there, uh, confusion so I'm going to fix this guy here right it's serving through 8881 8, now this is web app the w2 we create the image sudo let's return to this directory let's clear the screen so you can see things nicely and then sudo docker image ls now we have web server and web app www web app www2 docker compose is making the magic for these guys web server web www web app www2 here we are and then you do sudo docker compose up okay it's creating the containers and then I guess that's it if you go to your browser okay and if I try to reload this page www.mydomain.com.br it, it as you can see there is a log message here because this was served from one of the containers console log node from the w and if I type www2 dot my website the console log is served from the other container okay so that's basically the magic one host system which is I'm going to stop this guy here one host system this computer that I'm using here okay and this host system is basically hosting three different containers the first being the web server so the host system port 80 is associated with the web server and the web server is actually routing two ports 80 and to another container for the w2 using port 8081 okay thank you